I've got one of those brain things cornered. <laughs> there, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Alrighty. Let's see what he says. Let's see, D4. So that's a three. I can leave. Really? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it here. Alright. We'll do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> Alright, D4. All right. Light let me light. let me do a clean up. All right, so I think I should be clean now. Yep. Let me do a manual save here. So we are on the ravaged beach. Alrighty. Lots Mangled fisher. Nice. You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you work on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Ooh. Okay, D D4. Let the green fall across your face. Push the smile away. This is why. Try to remember the last time you stood above a cog. So let's see what the dice says. So the dice is D2. Uh, I mean, it rolled off off camera, but it was D2. All right. So push the smile away. This is wild. With a shake of your head, you can hear your own blood throbbing in your ears. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Okay. <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, where would I find? I hope you guys don't mind. I'm thinking of like giving her some nice clothes. I know because the nice clothes comes in act three. You know, I don't want to like keep looting and other things. So after this episode, I'll do some basically uh, once I get to the camp, right? I'll do some cleaning up and I'll have some nice clothes for her, basically. Okay? I I really wish they would give like some nice clothes in the beginning. So we got the backpack. And then we got this one. Right? Yep. Nah, it doesn't look good. Does it? It removes her hair, uh, which it doesn't look good actually. How about the pouch? There it is. That fisher. Mergrass. Wooden barrel, wooden barrel. I'll take that. Uh, bo bell ballot. This is. Wooden barrel, wooden barrel. Alrighty. Blessed mother, smite the obstacles in my path. There she is. <laughs> I wonder how she will react, right? Blasted door, right? What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. You're the one who left me to die on the ship. Yep. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Anger. Bitterness. A will to survive. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing in your head. Yep. All right. Let's see what what the dice says. Did you miss the part where we were hurling through the house? I have to save myself. Okay. Let you die. I don't have a clue what you mean. Yes, I felt this before with another escapee. From that ship. Okay, let's see what the dice say. So it's a D2, basically. I hope you guys can see it. Right? I mean, I'm speaking, but that's a D2. So let's you left you to die. I don't have what a clue you what I don't have a clue what you mean. You know, you looked me right in the eyes 
then ran. No matter. We survived the hells, survived the crash. <laughs> but we mightn't survive these things in our heads. They're going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. Okay, you know what about you know about mind flayers tell me everything, but I feel fine. All things considered, are you sure? Alright. Then the calm down, we escape, we survive. There is no need for dramatic. So it's a D1. Tell me everything. I don't know much, but enough to be afraid. This is how they breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding okay. one might be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Looks like you need a hand. I doubt this is the only entrance. You could look elsewhere. What you are making is a racket. That noise is bound to attract attention. I have lock picks. Let me try. Okay. Let's see. It's a D4. So it's a, uh, I got a D2 basically. I doubt this is the only entrance. You could look elsewhere. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Okay. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. <laughs> it would be nice to have another hand in the fire. From what I can see, it looks like you handle yourself just fine. Do you know if anyone else survived the crash? There were lots of people in these parts. I'm leaving before more things crawl out of the wreckage. Let's do a D4. Oh, sorry, let me try this again. So that's a D3. Uh, do you know if any of us are survived? No, unless you count these monsters. You're hey. the friendliest face so far. Alliance have been made on less. I could use your help. From what I can see, looks like you handle yourself just fine. I'm living before more things crawl out of the bucket. Okay, let's do. So it's a D2. Uh, I mean, I'm. I wish I had a more. Because I'm using my mobile to capture this. I mean, okay, D2. From what I can see, it looks like your handle feels just, just fine. For now. But I'd rather get out of here than keep testing my metal against these things. All right. So one or two, right? Basically. So let's do a D4. Let me try this again. Okay, it's a D2. I'm living before more things fall out of the wreckage. Likewise. Try killing a couple of these monsters before you die. Lessens the load for me. Okay, so we are not taking her with us, man. <laughs> bye bye, Shadow Heart. <laughs> oh, man. Ashish of the Dagger. I feel like we are gonna be alone in this fight. <laughs> Alright. Let's try to open this. Uh, lock pick. Turn should do it. Ooh, critical success! Wow. I mean, I'll save it for sure. Uh, but I don't think it's a good idea to go from there. Let me try. See if I can open it. I mean, we got a heavy chest here. Ooh, wow. Okay. So I do need that. Yes. So let's do a torch. Oh, and I got to level up. Let's go. Nice. So I got the additional key point. So your movement speed is increased by three while you are not wearing armor or using shield, right? So that's nice. Patience, defense, step of the wind dash, step of the wind disengage. All right. So I this think place my... wasn't built for the living. I could disarm that. I only have one disarm toolkit. I'll take that. 
I don't have. Let's click this button. Disarm that. Ah! Okay, well, that's problematic, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's disarm that. No disarm toolkit available. Okay, let me see. Uh, what I can do is I can open that. Uh, do the... Okay, let me take that. Ah! <laughs> well, that was gonna bound to happen, right? <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do is, I don't even, uh, it's not a good idea to be here. Let's, let's get the, let's get a Starion first. And I can do a camping also. She should be here, right? No, she's not here. Okay. It's fine. Okay, let me go and do some cleaning up on my inventory and then I'll be back, okay? Alright. So, let's go. Uh, I installed the close mo uh, mod, so we will get it later, I guess. And I do need to... Let's drink that. And let's go. So, I think it's not a good idea to go there right now. Dead Fisher. I think I already got that right. No, I don't want that. So let's go from here. It's just me, man. Do I have anything that I can throw it to them? No. I only have the water and this, which doesn't do much. Okay. This guy... So there are two, right? So what I can do is... Let's do that. Great mistake. More of those wretched things. Nice. Uh, let's do main hand attack. Nice. So he's surprised. That's nice. So let's kill him again. Nice. Give me that. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. So let's save it here. Give me that abducted. Okay. So let's go down. Uh, I want to go here, right? So let's go here. We will talk to Astarian first, but before that I have the pyre here. So I think this one is the basket full of equipment, right? It has the clothing that I need. Yeah, let's take that. Conjure! Okay. Transfiguration spell, let's go back to the camp. Alrighty, so I gave her some new looks clothes wise basically this is a biker monk <laughs> right all right so let's go and uh, let me know if you guys like this I can change the clothes if you guys don't like it I mean I like it I always like the dark this kind of thing you know it looks good. Yep. Alrighty. So. Uh, before I do that. Let me just do one thing. Alright. Let's get out of the camp. Alright. Anything else here? The mergrass. Let's take that. 
Balladona, let's take that. All right. Intellect Devourer. Let's talk to our guy. Where he is. There he is. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. <laughs> there, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Alrighty. Let's see what he says. Let's see, D4. So that's a three. I can leave. Really? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it here. Alright. We'll do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> All right, D4. Man, it's funny, huh? D4, uh, this, uh, do the, do the dice thing. Okay, well, sorry, let me just do this. Okay, so D1, so it's a, it's one, roll one. Let's try dexterity. Nice. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Hey, why are you saying it to me? I didn't do anything. They snatched me up too, put the knife away, and maybe we can talk. I haven't done anything to you yet. Let's try it. Okay, so that's a D4. So that means I'll take the three. You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? I don't know. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so that's a D2. So that's a 2. Honestly, I have no it's idea. Those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, so that's a D4. Apology accepted. Can't blame you. Glad to see we are all caught up now. You better have more to offer than apologize. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's a four. <laughs> so right off the bat, huh? We are gonna be rude. I feel like I'm getting the worst choices. <laughs> I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Hmm. Tell him of your crash, your worm, and your rune. Okay, okay, let's do a d4. So it's a two. All you need to know is you better watch your back. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting the worst. A pleasure. <laughs> so, do you know anything about these worms? All right, let's let's see. So it's a one. Uh, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh huh. You should travel with me. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. I wasted enough time here. Farewell. Control it. With... Oh, I really hope he comes with me. Let's see. <laughs> oh, number four. 
Oh, I wasted enough time here. Farewell. Bye bye, Astarian. <laughs> Wait, th that's it. You're doomed. Sorry. And then off to the next adventure. Oh. <laughs> These worms are doing something. I can feel it. What are you going to do about it? I'm hunting for a healer. I'll figure out my problems. You figure out yours. I'm not sure yet. Get drunk. Laugh at you. There are plenty of options. <laughs> Let's see what happens, man. <laughs> Number three. Uh <laughs> Funny. Well, maybe I'll see you again. Still wearing the same skin, I hope. Oh, bye bye, Astaria, and I'm alone again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll follow it through, I guess, right? Let me save it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's check the mind flare. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. All right, let's see what the dice say. Oh, it's a three. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yep. Yes, you feel hate and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the <laughs> feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. All right, D1 and 2. Uh, take advantage of the laughs, break free. Concentrate on your thoughts. Okay. So it's a 4. So I guess I'll take the 2 then. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close your eyes. Close those eyes forever. Leave it to die slowly. Uh, one and two, right? I, I, I mean, obviously, I have more higher chance to have two because I don't have a D2 kind of dice. It's the, the, the lowest I have is D4. But I got the number two, so let's do two. All right, fine. We will leave it. Anything else nearby? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we will have Gale, right? At least let me have Gale, man. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here, Gale is there, right? Let me get that. All right, let me save it. Send this to camp. Let's send all this to camp. What's going on with that room? It's unstable somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. Mm -hmm. Functioning, it looks slightly dangerous. Okay, so here is what I do. Okay, if it's a D4, if it, I only have two options, if it's a D because I the lowest I have is D4, then if it's one on two, I'll take the two one, and if it's two and three and four, then I'll take two. Okay. Because that's how I will get 50-50, right? Alright, so... If I only have two options, then I'll split the D4 into half, basically. So 1 and 2 is 1, and 3 and 4 is 2. So let's do that. Okay, so that's a 1. So let's touch the sigil. Anyone? 
Okay, so I gotta get the D5. So I have the D6. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Uh, all right. Fantasize about hacking off the hand. Who are you? Slap the hand. Ignore the urge to maim. Grab the hand and pull. Uh, it's far too dangerous. Leave him to his fate. Okay, let's let's roll the D6. So it's a two. Who are you? Okay, let's let's do that. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out. And we'll get properly introduced. All right. So now I can do a D4. Let's try that. So it's a two. Slap the hand. <laughs> Should have clarified. Mm -hmm. Helping and anyone? Okay. Uh, again, I'll do D four. Okay. Number two, it came. All right. Ignore the urge to main. Grab the hand and pull. Okay, sure. So let's do that. Seriously. I'll, I, I'll roll again, okay? <laughs> okay. Alright, finally. I net. Let's make me have Gail, man. <laughs> That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. Aha. Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies, I'm usually better at this. Uh huh. Let's do a D4. It's a number one. No need apologies. Are you alright? But friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. I was. Uh, never mind the Nautiloid. You don't trust this man. Draw your weapon. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's do this. T4. Oh, number two. Nice. Never mind the Nautiloid. How did you get stuck in the storm? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Uh, let's do a D4. Oh, it's a number two. I took control of the ship, landed it safely and saved the day. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. <laughs> so who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? I was. Go on. Let's do D3. Uh, D4. Uh, number 3. Okay, so that's hardly any of your business. Gotcha, private, nothing to do with me. And yet, if we indulge in the hypothetical for a moment, the insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? Nope. But I'm an elf. Surgeon. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. Okay, so since this is two choice, uh, I'll use the D4, but 50-50. One and two is one, three and four is two. Uh, number one. Uh, you guys can't probably see, huh? It's, it's problematic. Here, so it's a number four. I'll, I'll use this this way. Okay. 
So can't say that I am. certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. No, thank you. So one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so let's do that. So it's a number one. Uh, we will do sounds like a plan. Finally. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. Well, you're welcome. You can thank the die, actually. <laughs> I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Alrighty. Thank you. Alright. Thank you, Gail. Finally, I can seek and you shall find me. <laughs>